It's been 500 days now since I added life to my indoor ecosystem. The transformation has been profound and the journey, nothing but exciting. I built a drainage layer and hardscape out of aquarium filter foam, expanding foam, as well as some divider grid. I shaved that down and coated it with silicone as well as a cocoa peat sphagnum moss mixture, onto which I splashed a wet moss mix. The very first life came in the form of these orange springtails, which will be my cleanup crew. They eat any of the dead plant matter, turning it into more fertilizer. Next, I introduced two male and three female vampire crabs. They spend most of their time on the land section, so I decided to introduce a colony of sherry shrimp as well. They added some movement as well as some color to the water section. And to my surprise, they even managed to climb up the waterfall, which was a pretty heavy stream for them. It didn't take long for them to start reproducing, but unfortunately they brought a bladder snail infestation with them. So I got some assassin snails to combat this problem. The bladder Bladder snails are bad because they compete with the shrimp for the biofilm that they eat. After about six months, I started to see tiny little vampire crabs all over my terrarium. And although the assassin snails had been doing work, I decided to help them out by slicing a piece of cucumber in there and letting it chill for 24 hours, which attracted tons of bladder snails, which I fed to my redfoot tortoises. They like the cucumbers and they naturally seek out snails in their natural environment so this was a good little snack for them. I had been observing a mystery plant growing in my terrarium and the flower eventually turned into a strawberry. I fed that to the tortoises as well since the crabs left it alone. What started with an empty terrarium and five vampire crabs has now turned into a full colony. 